Well, God in his divine and holy humor, as he does all things well and nothing by mistake, put this word into my spirit two weeks ago concerning my life, your lives, our assignment, our equipping, our mandate, our ministry, our mission, our future. Now that sounds like a lot of good of encouragement, but if you don't know the meaning of each of those things, you're going to leave this place inspired, but you will leave untransformed. When you have a, when you have a cataclysmic encounter with Jesus, he does not just inspire you, he transforms you. You can't keep being what you've been and you can't just do what you've done and you can't get satisfied with what you have tasted because when you have tasted of him and seen that the Lord is good, all of these other things that have filled your life up from a secular point of view all of a sudden began to make you sick. Here's what I pray today. Oh God, let there be a divine outpouring of, of Holy Ghost wind to blow through your people to the things that we have filled ourselves up on in this world that makes no room for you. We will become so sick of it, uh, that we will allow the wind of the Spirit uh, to displace those distractions from our life uh, so that we sit empty-handed. Empty-handed. Why would we be empty-handed? Because those who are so full of themselves can never be used of God. Pastor, I feel like I'm losing some stuff in my life. I, I just come by this room. I want to ask every teenager, every student, who's got a future in front of you, past, present, and future. Is God just the by name that you've learned to speak because your mom and dad did? Or you heard a preacher preach about him? Or has God become that focal, not only of your attention, but of your obsession? You may say, Pastor, I have him. But I want to ask you, student, this morning, does he have you? Are you listening to what I'm telling you? There's some people in the, place, the places of faith, they satisfy their hearts and they lie to themselves by saying, man, I have God in my heart. Yes, that's good and that's, a, that's one of the greatest things you can have in your life. But to have God in your heart means it trips something that becomes a domino effect of other acts of obedience moving forward. Coming to know God is just not that hook you hang your hat on in 1957 and 1968 and 1971 and 1983 and 2005 where I got saved. Then if we were saved, that is the date of our launching. It is not the day of our conclusion. It simply means from that day moving forward, we ought to be energized, focused, absolutely possessed with the passion of Christ to do what Christ does and wants to do through our life. I want to just ask you a question this morning. You may say, Pastor, I, I have Christ, but does Christ have you? Or has he become the side dish and everything else become the main course? Has he become the Sunday morning 15 minutes of repeated songs or does your worship begin way before somebody comes to a platform because you've been so busy, you've been so passionate, you've been so in love with him that Sunday morning does not define your experience with God. It started way before you came to church.